Okay, great. I think we'll get started. Hello and welcome everyone to the Schenectady County Virtual FAM Tour. My name is Laura Burning. I work here at the Governor's Office of Motion Picture and Television Development, and I work closely with the Boots on the Ground Productions uh, here in New York State. So I work with location managers, scouts, producers, uh, and overall uh, physical production here in New York State. I also work closely with our state agencies and our regional film partners around the state to make sure that everyone is getting what they need, no matter where you shoot here. Uh, as a former location manager, I know how important it is for your local and regional film offices uh, to know what they're talking about and, uh, and know the micro and uh, macro uh, levels of the, the types of things that you need for your production. So I'm especially excited today to uh, to have uh, Film Schenectady join us, Donna Fennell, who is the uh, film commissioner at Film Schenectady in Schenectady County, is here uh, to, uh, to talk to us about all things in that county. Uh, before we get started, um, I want you to know that in the chat box will be all the links that you need uh, for our office, the Film Schenectady office, Donna's contact information, our contact information, and also contact information about the tax credit. Um, at the end of Donna's uh, presentation, we'll be doing a Q&A session, a very brief Q&A session. So if you have questions, please drop them in the Q&A uh, box uh, down in the middle of your screen. Uh, and before we get to Donna, uh, I want to get you up to speed on the upstate, uh, well, the New York State tax credit and uh, the advantages of working upstate so let's hear from Yoni Boxer, who is our executive director here at the film office. Yoni, take it away. Thank you so much, Laura, uh, for all your work you do and the introduction and for organizing this uh, virtual fam tour. Also, thank you to many other team members, Shailen, Rania, Skyler, Lena, our public affairs, our IT team, who all made this possible. As Laura mentioned, my name is Yoni Boxer. I'm the Executive Director of the Governor's Office of Motion Picture and TV Development here at Empire State Development. It's so good to see so many friendly names uh, in the attendee list and new names as well from Albany to Orange County, New York and California, Rochester and many film production uh, executives. We're really excited to tell you the story about Schenectady and upstate New York and why you should bring your next film project here. Governor Hochul has made it clear that the film and TV industry continues to be a priority for New York State. As most of you know, New York has world-class crew and talent, unique locations, and competitive tax credits. I'm so glad you're all here today for this virtual tour of Schenectady to New York. The governor has led the expansion and enhancement of film tax credit program along with the legislature to ensure New York remains competitive in attracting film production. I'll give you a few highlights, and I'm sure we'll have links in the chat to our website where you can get more details. The governor returned the base credit rate back to 30%, including above the line with certain caps. New York has new requirements for productions to create and implement diversity hiring goals and plans for employees and vendors. The credit has been extended for five years through 2034, and the annual allocation was increased from 420 to 700 million. The credit is especially competitive to productions that spend majority of their time filming upstate, which includes Schenectady, an additional 10% in all qualified expenses. If you have specific questions about the tax credit and whether a project you're working on might be eligible, contact our office directly with the link in the chat box or on our website. The Governor's Office of Motion Picture and TEV Production supports and attracts film productions throughout the state. But of course, we wouldn't be able to do it without our amazing local regional partners throughout government industry. Our office serves as liaison, but we wouldn't be able to do it without partners like Discover Schenectady and their film office. Donna is about to take you through this tour covering filming in the area and all the assets that we have. We want to thank her as well as Mayor McCarthy, County Legislator Gata, who serves as president of Discover Schenectady's board, as well as the whole legislature and Todd Garofano and the whole team at Discover Schenectady. I know Donna and her team are amazing at doing their work, as well as all the other industry stakeholders in Schenectady and around the capital region that work together to support film and TV production. 
Without further ado, I offer you Donna. Thank you. Thank you, Yoni, and thank you very much. Laura, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, a little bit about our history. For those who may not know, uh, Schenectady is the birthplace of over-the-air television. It all started here in 1928 with the Queen's Messenger, the first ever dramatic program, and that's thanks to General Electric. We're also home to WRGB, the longest continually operating station in the world. We are proud of our history and even prouder to be welcoming a growing number of film and television productions to Schenectady County. Amazon Prime's Modern Love moved their production into Armory Studios, New York. The 90,000 square foot qualified production facility was home to season two and they also filmed on location throughout Schenectady, including the J Street Pedestrian Mall in downtown, a strip of storefronts and restaurants that worked perfectly for one of their episodes. Showtime filmed at various locations in Schenectady County for three women. The series is now on Stars. Scenes took place at an elementary school and the St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. Many of our churches are film friendly. There is also the Renaissance Hall in Schenectady, which is the former St. Mary's Church. This is a designated qualified production facility. It is a beautifully restored historic church with 8,000 square feet on the upper level and 7,000 square feet on the lower level with full kitchen and craft service stations. HBO's Pretty Little Liars, Original Sin, assembled a full-scale working carnival complete with Ferris Wheel and Funhouse on Stage A at Armory Studios, New York. Both inside and out was quite the spectacle. HBO's The Gilded Age recently transformed our historic stockade district back to the 1880s. Aside from horses and buggies, and actors in period clothing, there was not much to do in the way of transforming the 17th and 18th century homes themselves. Every production gets the same white glove treatment. The budget does not matter. Meeting the needs of the production does. We embrace productions of all shapes and sizes. The production of country music stars Zach Bryant's latest video featuring Casey Affleck arrived in town as the Gilded Age was rapping. So we quickly trans transitioned from accommodating scenes of horses and buggies to car chases and spin-offs. Some other recent indies include Shoplifters of the World, The Snare, which spent about four months here in Schenectady filming on locations throughout the county and in Armory Studios as well, and Blood Tax, which is a short uh, the Sergeant Henry Johnson uh, story. And this small production received the same big studio attention and was assisted on everything from locations to crew, casting, catering, and a bevy of resources. Additionally, we have welcomed a number of documentary and reality series. Now, although these types of productions do not fall under the guidelines for the film tax credit, the commissions do provide uh, services and always happy to help. To mention a few, uh, The Other Mrs. Jordan is a three-part doc co-produced by London-based Circle Circle Films and October Films for ITV. They return three times to complete the production. Love After Lockup, We TV, Caught in the Net, a series produced by another London-based company, Arrow International, In Pursuit, which was Discovery ID, and The Haunting, which is a travel channel series. Schenectady was home to classics like The Way We Were, starring Barbara Streisand and Robert Redford. This was filmed on the Union College campus. Founded in 1795, Union College is a private liberal arts college and is spread across 130 scenic acres. The centerpiece, both architecturally and physically, is the Knott Memorial, an elaborate 16-sided masonry building one of the few 16-sided buildings in the world. Robert Redford returned to Union College in 1992 for the film Sneakers, and scenes for James Franco's film The Pretenders were also shot on the Union College campus. Other productions around Schenectady included The Time Machine, Winter of Frozen Dreams, Lifelike, and The Place Beyond the Pines. The translation means Schenectady in Mohawk. 
this brought together Bradley Cooper, Ryan Gosling, and even Mendez under the direction of Derek Jean France to film in our county. The film had some memorable motorcycle scenes, including a car chase, um, uh, sorry, a car chase following the motorcycle through the historic Yates Cemetery. Schenectady County was founded in 1809 and consists of the city, five, five time, towns, two villages, five hamlets, and they all offer diverse settings. At the center of it all is our Hallmark Ready downtown, where the classic ornate Proctor's Theater is a main attraction and a one-of-a-kind location, holding the distinction of being the site for the first public demonstration of television on the big screen in 1930. Just across the street from Proctor's is the entrance to J Street Marketplace, a brick paved pedestrian mall of stores and restaurants that connects downtown's main strip to City Hall. In addition to being featured in several indie films and commercials, it has doubled from everything from New York City neighborhoods to charming small town shopping districts. At the other end of J Street Pedestrian Mall is Schenectady City Hall, which dates back to 1931 and is an example of the late Georgian revival style. Offices, courtrooms, and a grand staircase, they draw the attention of location scouts all the time. And we often get the question, can we film in City Hall? And the answer is yes. Other government buildings are found within blocks of City Hall, all offering distinct architecture of a past era. One mile from City Hall is Mohawk Harbor, a 60-acre community combining luxury living and high-tech workspaces with big city feel, an amphitheater, bike path, one mile of waterfront, boat harbor, and casino. This location has been used for indies, commercials, and sports casts. Additionally, Mohawk Harbor will soon have a brand new 100,000 square foot multi-purpose event center, ice hockey rink, which will be registered as a qualified production facility. Rivers Casino features slots and tables on the gaming floor, an event center and hotel. The casino is open to working with productions and considers projects on a case by case basis. One of the capital region's pristine locations is Schenectady's GE Realty Plot. Located in the middle of the city, this park-like neighborhood is a short stroll from the Union College campus. The stately homes of the plot were all custom built between 1887 and 1939 for prominent members of Schenectady society, many of whom were engineering luminaries at General Electric. Residents have and continue to work with productions. Another gem is our historic stockade district, tucked away in the heart of downtown. The beautifully preserved stockade is one of the oldest residential neighborhoods in the country and the first historic district established in New York. With properties dating back to the 1700s, this neighborhood has served as a key location for films of all sizes. We work hand in hand with the Historic Stockade Association and the Schenectady County Historical Society ensuring a welcoming environment. Not far from downtown, you'll find farms and rural settings. They can easily be spotted in locations like Duanesburg, Princetown, and Rotterdam Junction. And it's in Rotterdam Junction where you will find the Maybe Farm historic site, the oldest farm in Mohawk Valley dating back to 1705. This site is home to three 18th century houses, a Dutch barn, a number of wooden outbuildings, and a dock along the river with an 18th century wooden boat. Several productions have filmed at Maybe Farm. M most recently was the Sergeant Henry Johnson film Blood Tax. And parks and nature preserves are plenty. Central Park, yes, we have a Central Park in Schenectady, uh, is, is just over about 260 acres with a lake, a pond, a new pool, tennis courts, baseball fields, stone bridges, trails, an outdoor concert venue, and a nationally ranked Rose Garden. Filming in the Rose Garden is permitted for a $75 fee, and it is the only area in the park where a fee is required for filming. There are dozens of parks throughout the county for filming options in addition to our nature preserves, which have appeared in scenes ranging from fun to frightening. 
You can see more of these locations and others on our location gallery, which is found on our site at filmschenectady.com. And please reach out to me with any inquiries if interested in arranging site tours. Schenectady offers the resources and services to save you time and money. This tends to be top of mind for any production. Can we save you money? A film application is $10. Permit fees in most cases are zero. Can we save you time? The answer is yes. One call to the Film Commission and we can assist with locations, crew, casting needs, and coordinate with all the municipalities and departments. The Capital Region has plenty of local experienced crew, both union and non-union. The region is ready to go. We are covered by IATSE Local, unions 14, 52, 161, 524, 592, 600, and 798. There are local camera and G&E rental companies in the Capital Region and a full complement of support services. Traveling into Schenectady is a breeze. With our Schenectady Amtrak inner city station, the trip from New York City, Boston, Buffalo, and Canada is an easy commute. Or if you prefer, you can catch a flight into the Schenectady airport. You will find that the entire capital region is a quick commute. We are just a stone's throw from our neighbor, neighboring counties. We all work together to ensure that productions that come to the capital region have the support they need. We work as a team, all municipalities and departments, the Schenectady Metroplex Development Authority, our community partners, we are all dedicated to making the production process exceptional. Let's hear from some folks in their own words. My name is Ray Legier, the co-owner of Army Studios New York, located in the heart of downtown Schenectady, as well as the heart of the capital region. Our location is easily accessible from the major cities around us, New York, Boston, Buffalo, and Montreal. What does the production need more than anything else? Space and parking. Good news is we have both. Our studio is 90,000 square feet strong with Studio A boasting of 30,000 square feet with a 50-foot ceiling with full driving capacity. And when I say driving capacity, you can drive tractor trailers. Anything that'll fit on the highway will fit inside the stage. Our building is on the historic register, but our heating and cooling system is not. You have total control of all areas, including the main stage having 200 tons of AC as you need it. And also we have 4,000 amps of 480 power, more than enough to meet your needs. What makes Army Studios New York and Schenectady special? The fact is that the community comes together. We have the county, the city, the neighborhoods, the businesses. We all work together to make your experience simple and easy. We'd like to think that Army Studios New York and Schenectady would make your perfect home base. Schenectady is ready and the answer is yes. And a lot of people say that, but we actually produce it. Production companies quickly learn in Schenectady that we solve problems we don't create. I expect police, fire, officers, general services to be viewed as partners with production to be able to do things in a cost-effective manner that produce quality results. Producers know Schenectady for the stockade, for the Victorian architecture there, for the old Dutch architecture there. They know Proctors, they know City Hall, but they don't realize in many cases that we can put you in the middle of New England countryside in a very rural, picturesque setting in about 10 minutes from the city. So it's really our job to work with each production to find the right lodging options for them, whether it be budget, location, amenities, uh, whether it be a, a major hotel chain, short-term rental, or Airbnb. Skyty County really does have a wide variety of lodging options available. Earlier this season, we were tasked with finding Newport, Rhode Island in New York State. Looked at a lot of places, and then we came to the Stockade District in Schenectady, and we're surprised to find that our director could barely tell the difference it was amazing. The close coordination of city agencies, um, the work of Don Pinnell, all of it came together in a matter of a few weeks and it was so successful. I challenge you to see the difference between that and the real thing. I had a wonderful experience working with the Schenectady Film Commission in the Armory Studios, New York. Right from the beginning, the team was engrossed in seeing my vision come true. Locations, crew, access to resources, Ray Legere, Donna Pinnell, Richard Leverage, 
all stepped on board and saw my vision all the way through to the end. They never gave up. If you're looking for professionals to put towards your film project, reach out to Films Connected. I had an amazing experience filming and working in Schenectady, New York. When we started producing the Zach Bryan video, we were looking for locations on the East Coast that had great textures, looks, and most importantly, a friendly film commission that was willing to work with us because we were trying to do car chase scenes, car crash scene where we needed a road closure, shooting at multiple bars, houses, etc. And as soon as we spoke with Donna, we realized that Schenectady was the place for us. And we really appreciated all the support we got from the film commission. And inevitably, that's what drove us to Schenectady. And that's why we had such a great experience shooting there. And we would highly recommend it. My name is Rick. Fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Donna and Richard, for this terrific presentation. Why don't we get to a couple of questions? And oh, and I just wanted to remind everyone, if you do have um, questions, please uh, drop them in the Q&A box uh, at the bottom of your uh, Zoom screen. Okay, let's get to it. Um, let's see. Okay, Donna, can you please expand on the permitting process and the turnaround time for productions that want to film in the county? Sure. Uh, permitting, the permitting process is, is easy. Go to our website. There's a project form. Download that. Fill it out. Send it back to me. We get the process started immediately. Turnaround time. Uh, we've turned uh, permits around and other requests uh, within 24 hours. So it really depends on the need of the production. Uh, and uh, of course, if there's any questions anybody may have with with terms of permitting uh, specific to their production, I invite them to call, email me or call me, uh, and we can discuss that in detail. That's great. Um, can you just expand just a little bit on the Zach Bryan um, project, how you... Uh, like how long did it take? I know you had a lot of chase scenes and some stunts. Did that take a while to put together or or to permit? We turned that around fairly quick. Uh, again, I think that turnaround was, uh, I want to say 36 hours wow. uh, for all of that. And we worked with uh, multiple municipalities on, on that. Uh, we were going between um, you know, Schenectady over bridges into uh, Scotia. And it pulled together very, very quick. Um, I want to say again, that was within a 36 hour turnaround for that. That's pretty incredible. I think that's music to a lot of producers ears and location managers ears. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, is there drone filming allowed in the city of Schenectady? There is drone filming allowed. Uh, there are restrictions. We are the home to the 109th uh, airlift wing. So uh, that does put some more restrictions uh, on Schenectady. However, it is permitted. We do, uh, obviously, drone operators uh, need to get proper authorization from FC, uh, the FAA and uh, supply us, of course, with permits, license, uh, COIs, registration. We need all of that at the film office, but it is certainly allowed. That's great. Thank you. We have another question about um, county, city, and uh, parks. Um, and, st and actually, and maybe farm, actually, too. Can you expand a little bit more? How many parks are within your your county? Is, you know, are people allowed to film there um, during the on season, which I'm thinking is summer? <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And can you tell us a little bit more about the maybe farm as well? Sure, Maybe Farm is very open uh, to to having productions film um, at their location, and it's and they've welcomed that uh, numerous times in the past. Uh, there are no restrictions as far as time of year for filming in any of the parks uh, throughout the county, and we also encourage um, productions to think about um, contacting some of the farmsteads. We have some beautiful uh, farmsteads that have very park-like settings. And uh, that would offer uh, the opportunity to be on a private property and uh, have amenities right at the fingertips that you might not be able to have if you're filming 
at a park. Great, thank you. Um, we have a question here about the GE Realty plot. Okay. Um, is that just is that a neighborhood? Or can you expand a little bit more about wh what is what actually is that? There's all these beautiful homes. Yes, it is a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It is a neighborhood of very stately homes, uh, very stately historic homes, and uh, again, they're open to to welcoming productions. We've had several productions uh, use homes in that neighborhood. In fact, uh, Place Beyond the Pines uh, used one of the homes in that in that neighborhood. Uh, Bradley Cooper's character Avery uh, shot at a home uh, there in, in the GE Realty plot. Uh, but it is it is a walkable neighborhood. It's right near uh, the Union College campus. It's very close to downtown. That's great. Thank you. All right, Donna, we have uh, time for one more. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, what is it that people should know about filming in Schenectady that maybe they should know or they they may not know. Is there anything extra that you'd like to add about filming in the county and filming in the city of Schenectady? Well, any I hidden say, secrets? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the the, the proximity I, I think is 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 key. You know, when you're filming in the cap capital region, you're filming uh, in close proximity to all the cities. So Schenectady is a stone's throw over the city line, over the county line, and we all work together. So when you are in the capital region, each each city has a unique uh, uh, flavor, if you will, correct. So it's, it, you might find uh, like in Albany, you've got, uh, you can find like a DC setting, you know, uh, you could find beautiful uh, historic neighborhoods in, in the racetrack up in Saratoga. And then you've got like George where you've got gorgeous, uh, beautiful mansion lakeside homes. Um, and then you, you know, go into Troy. I mean, Troy, again, used for the Gilded Age. You've got some gorgeous historic areas in Troy. The downtown area is absolutely stunning. And again, we all work together and just being within the capital region, it's very easy to find the work that you're going for. Fantastic. Well, it is time to wrap things up. Uh, I want to thank you so much, uh, Donna, and thank you, Richard, for this fantastic uh, presentation. We value your partnership so much. Uh, for those of you who have not been up to Schenectady or the Capital Region, we encourage you to get up there, get up there and see these incredible locations. Oh, my God, I can't, you know, the Stockade District is just really, really incredible, really special. Um, thank you again so much, everyone. And thank you all for joining us today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.